Uh, start recording. Okay, so here's a question here. So I've been asked this question a lot lately. I'm going to go ahead and answer it again. Capital A there. Do I use the Alchemy Terminal? No. No, the answer is no. Uh, no, I used to, uh, but it's too buggy. And Alpha. Uh, it's just not worth the hassle for what it provides. Okay, so the the bottom line is here, which is what? So the reasons that I like it is because it's wicked fast. Okay, it is. But most of the time I don't care. Most of the time don't care. Because why? Because I don't I don't need wicked fast terminal spamming. I just need something like, you know. The another main reason I use it is because it has a consistent uh, YAML configuration file that hot loads. That is probably the number one reason actually to use it that I've chosen if I'm honest. And the, the, the problem is uh, major bugs that have caused it to fail for me uh, prevented me from using it. Uh, so the first one is it does not work in full screen on Windows. And and I had to use I want it all if I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna use it something that works everywhere, right? So it does not work in full screen on Windows uh with notifications. The notifications completely screw up where it's listed on the page. And I don't care enough about it to send in a bug report and everything, because I can just use Windows Terminal, which, you know, is Windows Terminal, but it's a lot better than it used to be. Uh, it's also supported by, so if, when you have to use Windows, I just use Windows Terminal and I don't complain about it. It has uh, has very limited support for the full ASCII character set or for, for Unicode uh, for ANSI escapes. It, for example, no blink, for example. Uh, you might not want blink or something like that, but the fact that I don't know what's going to be supported and what's not going to be supported makes it why would I do that? Why would I take away functionality from the default? So what do I use? Uh, what instead? So uh, I use whatever is on the system. So uh, that means um, I think GNOME Terminal. And I use uh, Windows Terminal, you know. Uh, and uh, what is the other one? The new Windows Terminal, new Windows Terminal, and then I use uh, you know Mac, Mac uh, built-in terminal, which is kicks ass by the way. Mac built-in terminal. Uh, the one thing you know, I can never say negative about Windows is their terminal. Their terminal is awesome, and there's so many people that go to so much work to put something else on their Mac because they don't like the terminal that's there. That's just I think it's stupid. Fine. Uh, yeah, that's the problem is it gives you problems at inconvenient times. Uh, uh, so it's, uh, it's buggy. Yeah. I like that. Giving problems at inconvenient, convenient times. So that's just about my experience with it. That's really sad because I, I like the team. I like what they were doing. I don't like the Rust language, but I like the team. They've been very kind. Undead Leech, who's one of the members of the team, was here for a long time, actually, and uh, he since hasn't come back for obvious reasons. Uh, but he's one of the ones who provided transparency in my Perl script uh, that one time. He used to hang out with us while we were hacking. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's, I, I don't think it's a project in particular. I just don't want to use it. <laughs> the end. Maybe, I mean, come back when you have alpha software. This, I mean, when you have production-grade software, which you don't. It's not. Alpha Alacrity is not as beta software at best. You know, so I I would never I would never put the dependence of my day to day thing on it, and you can go back and see other videos that I've talked about with Lacrity, and you can see how glowing I reviewed. I was really I really thought it was awesome, and then you hear me today. I was like, no, I'm never I'm never doing it again. It was a waste of time. It was yet another thing I had to install every time I have a new system set up or something like that. And it's like it's not that hard, right? But it's the same reason that I don't screw around with different window managers. I'm not going to take time away. I'm not going to waste time on a window manager when I can just use a terminal that's there and take my tmux config, download it from GitHub, and be done. So my window manager is tmux. 
Uh, and yeah, so that's pretty much the end of that question. 